<laughs> Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> today, <laughs> today is the 21st of March, is poetry day, and I wanted to share a poem with you, uh, but before I jump into the poem, I wanted to send a massive thank you to all the medical staff out there. I have a few friends uh, working so hard, they always do, but even more now in a time of crisis like this. I think it's going to be challenging for so many families and I have um, many friends out there that are struggling, so if anything I wanted to send a hug, uh, all my positive energies. I know it's not easy. Uh, we still need to wait a few more weeks. I reckon this will last um, at least a month. Uh, <laughs> but with let's not dwell in the negative. There are many things that we can do in this time, especially because we are lucky to have internet. We are lucky, hopefully, to be kind of healthy by self-distancing ourselves. And I think one of the hardest things to do now is to learn how to forgive ourselves because we set up expectations and sometimes we see that we cannot meet them and we are so hard with ourselves. And learning how to forgive ourselves is really difficult. But if anything, by having quiet time, maybe we can get inside ourselves and start to understand ourselves better. Reach out. Reach out to your friends. Um, let's try to build healthier habits to stay positive. At least that's what worked for me. Uh, honestly, if, uh, if I wasn't working in the hospitality sector, I would probably just be playing video games. But since the hospitality sector is going to be one of the most effective ones, I try to focus my time on being productive and reading books, uh, you know, get back to all those skills that I wanted to learn. Um, because that, that's what worked for me. And I think ultimately we need to find something that works for us. Anyway, I'm, I'm drifting the original message. Um, all the energies, guys, to all my friends out there, stay, stay positive. Let's try to be patient. And yeah, let's reach out. Let's do Skype calls. Let's, let's continue chatting. And, and stay strong together as a community. There is this uh, author that is called Robert Pinsky, and he has a book of poems called Jersey Rain. So I wanted to share a poem with you. The poem is called Samurai Song, and I think it's appropriate for a time like this. And it goes Samurai Song. When I had no roof, I made audacity my roof. When I had no supper, my eyes dine. When I had no eyes, I listened. When I had no ears, I thought. When I had no thought, I wait. When I had no father, I made care my father. When I had no mother, I embrace order. When I had no friend, I made quiet my friend. When I had no enemy, I oppose my body. When I had no temple, I made voice my temple. I have no priest. My tongue is my choir. When I have no means, fortune is my means. When I have nothing, death will be my fortune. Need is my tactic. Detachment is my strategy. When I had no lover, I courted my sleep. Thank you very much for, for listening. Thank you very much for staying there in the other side of the line. Um, you can leave a like a comment. Tell me, let me know what are your your thoughts around this. How, what are your your tactics? What is your strategy to survive this difficult time that we have ahead of us? Um, at the end of the day, I think we need to find something key that is important, that is valuable for us 
some some habits some something to do and I stick to that because I think every one of us have a different way of approaching this problem and yeah I hope that you are safe I hope that you are healthy so yeah sending you all the energies guys let's stay strong cheers for for surviving see you later bye thank you